over on the women's balance beam we have Sun Shin Yi as the top performer in qualification she scored 14.3 the second best performer in the preliminary round Georgia May Fenton of Great Britain she'll be the last to go The finalists in the men's vault competition and the top performer in qualification, Asan Salimov of Kazakhstan. The second best was Demdendorj Ertushan of Mongolia. And can he become the first gymnast ever from that nation to win a World Cup medal in artistic gymnastics? That would be quite a turn up for the books. Eighteen-year-old Timo Edo getting things underway. The Kasumatsu one and a half. The opening vault. He scored thirteen point six for that vault in the preliminary round. Some of you may remember him from the Junior World Championships in this building last year, just about a year ago now. 12.95, the score for the opening vault. And now vault number two. Well, we'll see a few gymnasts in this men's vault final who've got uh, quite simple and secure second vaults. And there's nothing wrong with that when you're particularly the young age like Timo Edo is. Prioritise developing that first one from an all-around perspective. We start the women's uh, beam final with Sala Trudnik of Slovenia. Like uh, Timo Edo over on vault, she is 18 has competed at two world championships so much more established as a senior struggled with her stability in the wolf turns and it uh, eventually came back to uh, cause her to drop off the apparatus She's just struggling to maintain the line at the moment, Zara Trutnik. Her first ever international finals were in Turkey in 2022 at the Mersin World Cup. It does, as a country, have quite a lot of memories uh, probably wrapped up in every performance that she gives here she dismounts well there was a lot about the routine that was very uh, enjoyable from Zala Trutnik, especially as it went on it's a shame that at the beginning she had that stability uh, issue with the wolf turns and that then went on to uh, remain an issue. We now go to uh, Vladimir Kostyuk of Ukraine. 
fourth best in qualification with a score of 13.75. That's well performed from uh, Kostyuk. He had a 9.1 for the execution of his opening vault in the preliminary round. As I mentioned earlier, just recently making a comeback to the sport. We hadn't seen him internationally since the Varna World Challenge Cup in 2021. 13 for Timo Edo. Younger brother Jonas was part of the junior team with him at the European Championships in uh, Munich in 2022. So the second vault, uh, unusually, is the more difficult one for Kostyuk. 14 for his full twist in Kasamatsu. One imagines that the long-term target is to bring that around for an extra half twist to uh, bring it up to 5.2. Well, he's actually indicating uh, a 4.0 difficulty vault. In qualification, he produced uh, more difficult work than that. 4.8 of a 5.2. Ah, yes, well, there we go. That's uh, certainly the 5.2 difficulty vault that we uh, saw in qualification. Just struggling to get a stable landing in the Roche. He did unfortunately miss the uh, bulk of the flight of the vault, but the landing had its uh, issues. Now we're over on balance beam with Yang Ko Wen of Chinese Taipei. She's got a, a remarkable track record of always celebrating her birthday in Antalya because she was 15 a day before the qualification phase of the Junior World Championship. She's virtually done the same again here, turning 16 two days ago. So happy birthday to her. And special to mark a, a senior international debut in 2024 in this way. Free walkover was uh, performed with poise. The jumps afterwards were nice and secure too. And she keeps her dismount compact, simple and effective. Nice display from Yang Ko Wen. She was the sixth best in qualification with 13.2. A new senior this season. 10.9 was the score for Zala Trutnik. Unfortunately, that's down by just over two marks for obvious reasons from qualification twice coming off the apparatus. Now to Ishimbayir Ursukhbayir of Mongolia. 22 from Ulaanbaatar. And he does well with his first vault. He was fifth at the Asian Championships last year. And he has been a vault finalist at World Challenge Cup level. We saw him in the Floor final earlier. Ulan Bata is an absolutely fascinating city in, in terms of the scale of the population that lives there compared to Mongolia at large. It is globally one of the most uh, 
heavily populated cities by a percentage of the entire population. And much like uh, Vladimir Kostyuk, Ishimbayev uh, Usukbayev started with the uh, Kasamatsu full. Uh, waiting to go on the uh, beam is Sun Shinyi. But we'll first see this second vault from the uh, young Mongolian. Very stable. He too keeps things simple with his second vault for which he scored 9.4. In qualification, the uh, full twisting Tsukahara. Now to Sun Shin Yi, top qualifier. A team gold medalist at the Asian Championships in 2022. What a good line. It does well to hold that. Corbett flip. Nicely performed to go low to the apparatus. First time that we've seen her in an International Gymnastics Federation competition. What a good dismount from Shun Shin Yi. And Vladimir Kostyuk, 13.725. So he leads at the moment. We are waiting for the score for Ichimbaev to come in though. Yanko Wen scores 13.3. That's the leading mark so far. This is Daniel Carrion of Spain. He's a little off in the landing position of his one and a half twisting Kasamatsu vault. But from an execution standpoint, likely to be a little more solid than the qualification phase. 0.3 of penalty marks in the preliminary round, 13.4 in total. Daniel Carrion was seventh in the all around competition at last year's national championships. point zero five that is way up from qualification by three quarters of a mark looked as though he was potentially out of bounds in the uh, Tsukahara full landing position We'll come back to that in a moment. Now to a gymnast who last competed at a World Cup event in 2017. 
but a gymnast who naturally has been one of the world's finest for a very long time. The Olympic champion from Rio, San Evevas, fourth best in qualification. Hand down. And all that while executing the trademark pirouettes that have made her one of the cleverest accumulators of difficulty in the sport. Acrobatically, that was fine. We just remind ourselves that she hasn't competed internationally since the World Championships. She is one of those athletes who tends to arrive at just the right time. She's one of those athletes who hasn't won a lot, but what she's won carries a lot of weight. has been one of the most effective gymnasts for, well, as to uh, reset there, that's very unusual, as I was going to say, one of the most effective gymnasts for a decade or so when it comes to turning up for the very biggest competitions. This is just the early stages of the season as she puts the uh, full twist into the gainer dismount. Not quite there for Sanivevas, but she will doubtless not be... Uh, hugely concerned because she's brilliant at playing the long game and peaking at the right time but it's an unusual thing to see a gymnast have to reset their starting position for a dismount 13.3 for Yang Ko Wen that's a confirmation of the score from earlier that put her into the lead but we'll have to compare that to Sun Xin Yi we're still waiting for the number for her. Flavia Sariva warming up. We'll then see Greta Moya, Yana Abdel Salam, and Georgia May Fenton. Well, I apologise for the lack of some of the uh, scores. We'll try to keep you updated on them as best as possible. It's 13.6 for Daniel Carrion. That's put him in second place. I'm just waiting for the number for Echimbayev Usukbayev and for Sunshinyi and for Sanivevas, but that score doesn't look like it's in yet. There we go, 12.867 for Vevers. So a long way down from qualification. Where she scored 13 and a half, but that's for very uh, transparent reasons. Twelve point eight six seven confirmed then for Sanivevas of the Netherlands. Third position. Fourteen point. 0 5 for Daniel Carrion is, I think, the best vault score we've had so far individually. But the overall lead is with uh, Kostiuk, just about. Flavia Saraiva of Brazil, the third best performer in qualification. 
She has been a Pan American champion on balance beam and she won the silver medal at the Pan American Games in Santiago last year. And that was right after the World Championships where the Brazilian team won a silver medal and she was third placed on floor. Now we go to Asan Salimov of Kazakhstan. A roche and a nice one from him. That was pretty as a picture in terms of the landing. The 20-year-old at his third World Cup event. He was the top qualifier and one can see why with that degree of uh, sharpness. Let's look at it again. Gets good height. That's well controlled. Wasn't that nice. Definitely the single best vault that we've seen so far. If he can keep this up, then he's very clearly going to go into pole position. Now, interestingly, the vault being indicated is a Kasamatsu one and a half. Well, that is the second vault from Asan Salimov of Kazakhstan. And I think he's at the sort of stage of his career where whether that's a four or one and a half is up for discussion. We'll come back to it later on, on an almost competition by competition basis. This is Flavia Saraiva. Third placed in the qualification phase and the gymnast who was second at the Pan American Games in Santiago. Powerful walkover work. Same with the side somersault. Good dismount as well. Doubtless pleased with that display. And not called Yana Abdel Salaham is Flavia Saliva of Brazil. Now, just to go back to that second vault from Asan Salimov, as I was about to say, he indicated that he was going to go for a uh, Kasamatsu one and a half on the vault uh, board, but actually, just as he did in qualification, just did the full, so for four tenths lower. Now, Demdendorj Entushan of Mongolia. His execution was extremely good in the qualification phase, making him the second best overall. That probably wasn't quite as tidy. It's 21 from Ulaanbaatar. Fourteen point three for Asan Salimov. Easily goes into the lead and has time for a quick uh, picture with Flavia Saraiva too. Demden Dorj Etushan. Second in qualification. Mongolia has never won a senior medal in a worldwide artistic gymnastics competition. And Batian Erdenebold won the Youth Olympic Games 
vault title in 2010. And regrettably for Demden Doge, the Yuchenko entry vault does not work out at all after his uh, Kasamatsu fault. To Greta Moya, fifth best in qualification. Very well executed mount sequence. She was actually announced as third place in the vault final. It turned out on the tiebreak criteria, Morgan Ossisek could snuck in there. Unfortunately for Greta Moya, she is able to keep that line secure. Leading the way at the moment is Sun Xin Yi on 14.267 and uh, will likely remain thus. stability adjustment coming out of the side somersault but she uh, deals with it well and the double pike has a lot of power in it from uh, Greta Moya of uh, Hungary. Still just 18, Moya. Already competed at two World Championships. As we have confirmation of Flavia Saraiva going to second place with 14 exactly. 0.267 behind Sun Xin Yi. So that is your one and two with Yang Kowen in uh, third place. Here's Adria Vera. The uh, Spanish Gymnast who qualified in eighth, eighth place with 13.075. Interestingly, the vault being indicated on the uh, scoreboard, the uh, shoe felt vault, the Yuchenko with two and a half twists. what we saw from him was uh, certainly some way away from that full twisting Yurchenko not at all the uh, intention by the looks of things and based on his reaction so that will be a long way behind the 5.2 difficulty desired 12.85 for Demden Dorje and Tushan. have to feel really sorry for him and indeed for this gentleman 28 Adria Vera from Palma de Mallorca but he's called Madrid home for a while and his second vault that was the uh, vault that we've seen from a few people so far the uh, full twisting Tsukahara but unfortunate there for Adria Vera, he was the reserve gymnast for the last World Championships when Spain managed to qualify a team for Paris. Really important part of that as the reserve. Now to Yana Abdel Salam of Egypt, the eighth best in qualification. That's a little loss of her stability in the wolf turns towards the end good hold on the side somersault she was in the Egyptian team that pushed close to the top 20 at the World Championships in Liverpool in 2022 
her best international result in terms of individual titles has been on beam. She won the uh, Pharaoh's Cup in Cairo last year. She has achieved some very prestigious all-around finishes at events like the African Championships. Bronze medalist in Cairo in 2022 and in Pretoria last year. She is secure in her dismount. Yana Abdel Salam did very well to hold on through some quite uh, difficult moments in that routine. Yes, the execution will reflect that, but it could have been significantly lower. We finish with Radomir Stelmach, the third best in qualification. 13.9 for the 18 year old and he does take a, a big diagonal step out of bounds at the conclusion of what was otherwise a promising Kasamatsu one and a half 11.733 for Greta Moya she's in fifth position Really key performance still to come on beam. The second best qualifier will be the last to go. 12.9 for Adria Vera. He's in seventh position. Stelmach scored 14.6 in qualification, 14.15. On this occasion, with the uh, single tenth penalty for that transgression out of bounds. And he elects also for the uh, full twisting Tsukahara vault of uh, 4.0 difficulty is his second. It looks as though Salimov will hold on to his uh, first place. Now to Georgia May Fenton of Great Britain as the last gymnast to go in this balance beam final. 14 exactly was her scoring qualification. Her only World Cup honours until this tournament today where she finished third in the uneven bars competition came on the beam in Varna in Bulgaria in 2017. Gives us just a reminder of how much longevity we've seen from Georgia May Fenton and what has been a splendid career. 12.1 for Yana Abdel Salam. Now, can Fenton impose herself on the podium? 13.3 is the mark that secures you bronze as things stand. That's from Yang Kor Wen. Then above, it is Flavia Sadaiva. 14. And then above, it is Sun Xinyi. 14.267. Mounts well with a little adjustment. Very nice pirouette work. That was stylish. Confidently through the acrobatic sequence. Walk over keeps the pace going well. Now, 
how will the stability be in these wolf turns? There's your answer. Very fine. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, double tuck to dismount saw her not quite there in terms of the rotation and a big uh, stumble forwards. It was very good on the apparatus from Georgia May Fenton. Really enjoyable. She looked poised and controlled. The classified results in the men's vault competition. It is bronze for Radimir Stelmach of Ukraine with 13.65 right at the end. Above him, his teammate Vladimir Kostyuk on his return to international competition. But the title won comfortably by Asan Salimov of Kazakhstan. And it's a 12.7 for Georgia May Fenton. The classified results in the women's beam final and a win for Sun Xinyi. The victory ceremony for the men's vault competition and the bronze medal to Radomir Stelmach of Ukraine. Lots of promise, lots of success at this World Challenge Cup in Antalya. The silver medal won by Vladimir Kostyuk, Stelmach's teammate. How great to see him back after a very, very difficult journey. The gold medal won by Asan Salimov of Kazakhstan, the top qualifier. And he was even better in the final. For the first time ever, he has won international honours in a global gymnastics competition. Asan Salimov, his third time at a World Cup, and he is a champion. The national anthem of Kazakhstan will be played in his honour. The National Anthem of Kazakhstan, adopted in January of 2006, played in honour of Asan Salimov, joined by his fellow medalists in the men's vault competition. The victory ceremony in the balance beam competition at the Antalya World Challenge Cup. Congratulations to Yang Kowen of Chinese Taipei, a senior international debut and two days on from her 16th birthday. She is a bronze medalist. Happy birthday and what a reward. The silver medal won by Flavia Saraiva of Brazil. 
very strong display from her. A 14th World Cup medal, a fourth silver. But what a huge success for Sun Xin Yi in her debut in an International Gymnastics Federation competition. She's been an Asian team champion and a domestic balance beam medalist, but this is a new accomplishment for her. The gold medalist on beam, Sun Xin Yi of the People's Republic of China. The 20 year old will now have the national anthem of China played in her honour. And there they are, the medalists in the women's balance beam competition.